With powerful legs, a rabbit hops along. Fresh green grass, beautiful meadows. A bird sings a song. Flowers of every kind, spring has arrived. Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. This one is in collaboration with a few other YouTubers so I will leave you guys the link in the description box for the playlist for you to check out. So what we're going to be doing is creating an Easter centerpiece. I'm going to be doing three DIYs in one, spring and Easter themed. These can be for decor as well as gifts because one of them is a basket and they also do well for wedding centerpieces as well, well two of them do. So I'm starting off with this basket that I got from the thrift store. So here it is. I really do like the colours on here, it's like a natural farmhouse look. And this is what I'm going to be working with. The next thing you're going to need is some soil and some plants, so this is the one that I've selected. The first thing we're going to do is take some soil and put it in our basket and then we're going to basically take this plant and sort of like repot it inside here. So here we are, our basket filled with the soil and now I'm just going to take the plant and you're going to just squeeze it on the sides here so that it gets out of the pot a little easier. Wow, look at those roots. It's amazing. Okay, so then you're going to just turn it over and you're going to make space for it inside your basket. So I'm just moving along some of that soil that I put in. And just decide where you want to place it. And I think I want mine on the side. So you can see I've got the plant in there on the side. And then turning it here you can see that there is still a little room for some soil just to make it even. So that's what I'm going to do. Add a little bit more until it's all level. Now you can see we've got all of this soil that we want to cover up because it doesn't look too pretty right now. So I'm going to be taking some of this Easter moss and I'm going to scatter it all along so that we cover the entire surface so none of the soil shows. Got Leo joining me there in the corner. <laughs> so here we go. You can see the difference that that makes already. And now I'm going to be taking a rabbit. This is the rabbit that I got from Home Bargains. It was really cheap. I think it was about $1.25. So really good price. And again, I really love this because it's like a neutral farmhouse look. And it goes with the colour of the basket. So I'm going to pop him just here. So it's next to the flowers. And his ears are resting on this bit of the basket. Next I'm going to be using some of these plants I already have. So this is one of them. I'm probably going to use these. They kind of look like grass but they live for a really long time. If you know the name of them please do let me know in the comments. And then I've got these as you can see. Some of them are dying or dead already. But I absolutely love the use of baby's breath so I know I'm going to be using those. And they last for a long time and even when they do die they just <laughs> still look really beautiful. But before we use any of this beautiful greenery and flowers, I'm going to be using some eggs. So take some eggs and place them wherever you like and however you like in your basket. So I'm going to place one here, just making sure that none of these flowers are getting squashed. And then I think I'm also going to place another egg in. But check this out, the small details really matter. So you can place it in like this. But I kind of feel like placing it in another direction makes it look a lot better. I am using real eggs here. That's just because I don't have anything this size that's artificial. And I also wanted to say you can leave them bare so that they're natural like this. Or you can add a bit of specks and extra detailing using a toothbrush and some acrylic black paint or brown paint, whatever colour you like. Now we're going to be making use of the baby's breath and I'm going to just pop them in on the side here 
because I did have a gap and I didn't like that. So we're going to cover it up and add some beauty. Okay, so now I'm going to take some of these out. I'm going to specially choose the ones that curve over like this. Honestly, he has so many places to sleep, but he decides to use up most of my craft table while I'm filming. Do you want to say hi everyone while we're here? Nope? Okay then, back to business. Sorry about the mess guys, we're crafting. So these are the little bits I have taken out and it's too long so what we're going to do is just sort of trim it, just rip it and then I'm taking another one and doing the same thing, I'm just going to nip it and then what I'm going to do is just take a few of these and I'm going to place them in the side of my basket. So I'm just going to poke that into the soil just on the side here and then make it go along the side of the ears on the bunny. So I'm going to do this to a few others. So I've tucked one like this and then one there, one here and then the final one there. So I kind of try to do it in layers and according to length. So here's a quick look at our first finished DIY. I think it's come out so beautiful. Let's move on to our second and then at the end you can tell me which one of these are your favourite. And now we're moving on to our second DIY and I'm going to be making like a little mini garden, fairy garden, a terrarium, that kind of thing. So you're going to start off with a bauble and you can see this one is quite large. So let me just get the other half. So that's how big it is. You can get them in different sizes. Next you're going to need a styrofoam bunny and you can leave him plain like this but I'm going to give him a makeover. So I'm going to take some of this material, burlap, and I've placed a bag here just so that the table doesn't get messed up. And then you can take some PVA glue or mud pudge and we're going to squeeze it all over the material. Now this is too thick for me. So I'm going to take some water and add that to the glue. And then now you're going to mix it all together so that the glue is all over your material. Just massage it in. You're going to get dirty with this. And then once you're done, you're going to take your bunny and what you want to do is really mold it, mold the material to the bunny so that it takes the form and shape. Make sure you get into the grooves. Now we're done and it's all dry. I'm just going to take this little bow to stick it on his neck. We're going to do that with some hot glue. So we've gone from this to this. Simple way to do these over, but it makes it look a lot more interesting and expensive. Then you're going to take one half of your bauble and fill the bottom part with some more moss. Next I'm taking some artificial flowers and I'm going to cut these just in the middle. So I've got two parts. So you're going to place your moss down on one side of the bauble and then place your rabbit inside and then you can stick these in with hot glue. I've just placed them inside the moss. I've also taken some of these um, artificial lavender and I've put one there in the corner. Once you've done that, just take the other half and secure it on. And then to finalise, I'm going to take a small bow, a different shade or colour to the one that I put on the rabbit, and I'm going to hot glue that just there so that we can cover the hole. Next, you're going to need a candle holder so that you can place your bauble on top. Here's a quick look at our second completed DIY. Isn't this just the sweetest thing? And a candle holder, and I love little worlds like this. So let's move on to our third and final one. Right, so for the third and final DIY, you're going to need a nest. So I've got this one here and it's already very beautiful, so I'm going to just build up on that. So next you're going to need a pillar candle. I probably wouldn't light this just because I'm really scared of lighting things around 
children or cats i've got two cats so you can use an led version i'm using this just because it looks aesthetically pleasing but you of course use whatever you feel comfortable with so i'm just going to place this in the middle making sure it's really stable or as stable as can be this one's going to be pretty quick but i still think it's going to come out amazing hopefully and then I'm taking this wooden embellishment rabbit, I got this from Hobby Craft. I'm going to place him just here on the front. Then I'm going to take some of these speckled eggs. So I've got two white, two pink, and these are also from Hobby Craft. I'm going to place them just alongside the rabbit and the candle. And of course you can glue these in place if you like. Then you're going to take some feathers, I actually cut this off one of my cat's toys and then just place it wherever you like, so I think I'm going to place one here and these two just at the back here and then these two just on the side at the back again Okay, and then I'm going to take some baby's breath and I think I'm going to tuck that in just at the front and then you can use some fresh flowers, so I've got these, they are starting to die, but I'm going to just place that there, and this one here, and that's coming along beautifully. And I think I'm just going to add a little bit more of the baby's breath on the front. A bit more here, and then one more there maybe. For the final thing, I'm just going to take some of this natural plant tie. We're going to wind it around the candle. Like I said, I'm not going to be lighting this. It's just for decorative purposes. And here's a quick look at how our third and final DIY came out. I think it's so pretty. I don't know, this one might be my favourite. I'm really actually quite stuck. But I love how dainty this is. It's quite rustic, shabby chic, also farmhouse. So this is how all three have come out and looked together. I absolutely love each and every one of them, if I can say so myself. I really don't know how to pick one. I really do like this one as well. And then the basket. It just kind of makes me happy and smile. I hope it does for you as well. Then this cute one here, in his own little bubble, <laughs> literally. So do let me know which one of these were your favourites, and I worked super hard on this video and these DIYs. Doing three DIYs in one isn't easy, so if you do enjoy this video, please do leave me a thumbs up and a comment, and if you like what you see, make sure you subscribe and turn on all notifications. If you can share this video with others, I would absolutely be so, so grateful. Thank you so much for supporting me, and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!